of the other important things that our current top load does that's really much better than most of our competitors is it handles out of balance loads that on one of our competitors' machines would end up causing it to bang the cabinet and stop the cycle and add more water to try to balance it out and cause all kinds of problems. On the Speed Queen top load washer, it can handle those kind of out of balances and still spin out the water and finish the cycle. With our machine, we don't hang from the cabinet. Commercially, it would never, never be a viable option for that. We have a solid base. We have a very heavy trunnion that goes down onto that base, a, a pivot dome, and we use very heavy duty suspension springs. So the base is solid to the floor, and when it goes in a spin, even without a balance, there's enough going on to keep it rigid in there. But we had to put the smarts in our computer-controlled machine. One of the benefits we do have with the new inverter drive and motor is the ability to sense an out-of-balance. We can then tell it to only spin at, say, 500 RPMs instead of 800, and that way, we don't wreck the machine, we protect the load, and we save the consumer money and service calls. The uh, suspension design for our for the Speed Queen machines with the milk stool and the springs, uh, rather than the hung strut type of suspension that you see on the competitors, um, we're able to to spin the load back and forth, you know, similar to our wash action, but do it in such a way that we're getting feedback through the controls to say what type of load it is. Uh, with that hung strut suspension, you can't necessarily do it quite like that um, just because the, the module moves too much. You really can't get that, uh, that sensitive type of feedback. And that's making sure the load is equally distributed around the basket before we decide to go into spin. Tangles weren't occurring, balls of clothes on one side versus the other. And so this does a really good job at distributing the load before we go into spin. The benefit that a customer can or should realize from a balanced load is less noise and less floor vibration, less machine shaking. If the module hits the cabinet, we stop the machine and restart our spin to not continually bang the cabinet. Yeah, it means when you come back, when you leave and you come back to your machine, it's going to be done and it's going to be spun out and you're going to be happy with the end result. You're not going to come back and find a big, soggy, soppy pile of clothes in the bottom of your basket. It's actually going to be ready to go and put it in the dryer and you're on to the next load. So in addition to the springs and the suspension and the lower center of gravity, we also have a fluid-filled balance ring that really works like nature does. As it goes into spin, if there's too much clothes weight on one side of the tub, just with the laws of nature, the fluid in this balance ring will move to the other side. So it'll, it'll counteract it back and forth and basically even it out. So this again becomes a very quiet system where you cannot hear the machine running in spin either. You really don't see much of a how to balance because of that shakedown procedure um, does distribute the load quite nicely.